Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. The purpose of this video is to give you an overview of doing Smartsheet backups and what it entails, what you get, and how to do it. So let's have a look. Now clearly, having backups of your data is pretty handy in case something goes wrong, someone makes changes, etc., and you've got a copy which you can refer back to. What Smartsheet enables you to do is take a snapshot on request or, or rather a backup on request, or to have a scheduled one which takes place every week. Now these backups, they do this on a workspace, and I've got a separate video talking about the benefits of workspaces versus sheets, and I'd always recommend you keep items in a workspace, um, or at least most items in a workspace. But in terms of the, the backup, what it does is it's not a backup of exactly all these items as they are within Smartsheet, but rather it's an export of those. So if I go into an example of what a backup looks like, here you'll get a weekly email on this scheduled one and it goes to the workspace owner. That owner will receive, and this will be at a weekend, this email which says download backup file. They click on that, it downloads a zip file with all the items in. I'm not going to do this now because that's quite a large um, workspace that I've got here with all my demos. So I'm not going to download that. But as an example, what do you get within that? So it's an Excel sheet. And this is just one asset within that overall space that's there. So what, what do you have? It's not a replica of your Smartsheet workspace in the sense that all the conditional formatting, it is a download of what is in there. So again, you don't have the formulas and all those items, but the important bit is you've got all the data and it'll be formatted accordingly. So if you imagine when you go onto an item and you download it or you export it rather, that's what you get. And you get that whole snapshot of your um, of that workspace. Now, the key here is it's done on a weekly basis. And so if you don't need it, it's there. If you do need it, it's available for you to refer back to. So if we just have a look and if I go to the productive demo workspace, so in order to schedule these, how do you do it? You either request a backup or schedule a recurring backup. So let's just press the schedule recurring backup and see what happens here. So what it says is a zip file containing a Microsoft Excel export will be downloaded and optional folder with attachments, etc., etc. on that bit. So backup, you can see the status. Now in here, if I press OK, that will happen and it'll look, that will go to the owner in this case, which is Rich Coles rather than the demo account that I'm doing this from here. Now what you can also do is you can view the recent backups and you can see all the items or at least the recent backups um, and here in this case it shows five so I can see those and I can download that backup so I could actually go back five weeks in this instance and see these backups there. So that's where it's really handy and again send the email so you can either ask to have that um, email when it comes or you don't have to. The fact that you can go back in and see the view, the, view, the recent backups is really handy and if you want less emails less emails is good clearly then don't request that email and again you look decide do you want attachments or not do you want that there so if i just come back out of that i'm going to press cancel um, and if i just go back onto it again here i can say request a backup and then this what this does is it will do it immediately on that side as well so this will happen and you can see backup requests are normally processed within the next hour so again, handy if you want to get an, a full download of multiple items, which is in effect, you're exporting the whole file structure as opposed to having to click on each item one by one if you want to take exports on that side. So again, really handy. Let's just look back in again at an example here. And what it's got, so you can see it's got the time plan, it's got comments, it's got the summary on that side. So it'll download those items and you save the choices. So. Let's just kind of do one for real. And I've just got a new workspace here, which is Bubbaloo. This currently doesn't have anything set up. So literally to go through this process, I'm going to schedule a recurring backup and I want to include attachments. I want to enable recurring backups and I want the email there. And it's as simple as you press that. Once it's done, that's it. You can forget about it. Other than the fact that if you requested, you get a weekly email letting you know that's happened and you can be assured that if you ever need to go back and see what that data was, then you can go back and have that information there at your availability on that side. So backups, certainly worth getting in place, certainly worth going through all your workspaces and just making sure that's there 
a few minutes here will save you a lot of heartache if ever you need to go back on that bit. So hope that's been useful. Thanks for watching. So Rich Coles at Productive Project Solutions. Bye for now.